Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about matrix. In the matrices, inverse of the matrix is a very very important question. Sometimes they are asking for 4 marks, sometimes they are asking for 7 marks in the public examination. So let us have a discussion. The question here, if capital A is equal to small a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3 is a non-singular matrix, then show that a is invertible and a inverse equal to adjoint a by dead a. We have to prove this. See, how to do this? First, the given information, you have to write it. So first what we have to write, given matrices or matrix, given A equal to A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3, given matrix A equal to, this is the or simply given that also we can write is a non-singular matrix here only important thing dear students non-singular matrix whenever the matrix is non-singular whose debt is not equal to zero that implies debt A determinant of A is not equal to 0. We can write like this also that is debt A is not equal to 0. Whenever determinant is not equal to 0, inverse of the matrix will be exist. That implies A inverse exist. So clear cut for this you have to get one mark out of 7. Why? Because you have to give the information, proper information when the given matrix is a non-singular whose determinant is not equal to 0, then A inverse will be exist. After that, cofactor matrix for the given matrix, you have to write it. Cofactor of A, cofactor matrix of A. Cofactor matrix of A. So, how to write cofactor matrix of A? Observe everyone. For the element small a1, the cofactor, I am assuming that capital A1. For small b1, cofactor is capital B1. For small c1, capital C1. This is the way you can write for all the elements of this matrix cofactors. So, for A2, capital A2, for B2, capital B2, for C2, capital C2. So, A3, B3, C3. This is cofactor matrix of the given matrix. So, how to calculate adjoint matrix? The adjoint matrix is the transpose of cofactors matrix. Adjoint of A that is equal to transpose of cofactors of A so how to means you write it this as it is poverty so A1 B1 C1 A2 B2 C2 A3 B3 C3 we know that the transpose of a matrix. So here the first row will become first column. Otherwise first column will become first row. So therefore adjoint A is equal to the first column will become first row. So A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. C1, C2, 
C3. This is adjoint A matrix. I hope you understand now. So adjoint A is this one and cofactor matrix is this one. Now till here you will get one more mark. Two marks will come from here and here. Next we are going to calculate A into adjoint A. A into adjoint A. We need to multiply. So here A into adjoint A. So that is equal to A matrix is what? A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3 into adjoint A. So A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So we need to multiply these two by actual multiplication. Here the order of this matrix A is 3 by 3. The order of adjoint A is also 3 by 3. So whenever the orders are same, the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to number of rows in the second matrix are equal. Then the matrix multiplication is possible. So now multiplying the values first row with first column. So what we are going to do is small a1 into capital A1. Logically remember dear students a1 a1 b1 b1. So small b1 into capital b1. Small plus small c1 into capital c1. Next first row second column a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 first row third column a1 a3 plus b1 b3 plus c1 c3 similarly second row first column a2 a1 b2 b1 c2 c1 next second row second column a2 a2 plus b2 b2 plus C2, C2. Next, second row, third column. So, A2, A3 plus B2, B3 plus C2, C3. Next, third row, first column. So, A3, A1 plus B3, B1 plus C3, C1. First row, second column. So, A3, A2 plus B3, B2, plus C3, C2. Next, third row, third column. A3, A3, plus B3, B3, plus C3, C3. After multiplying this, observe your students. Your total nine elements are there, no? Out of these nine elements, here if you observe, in this element, Small a1, capital A1, these suffix all are same. Here a1, a1, b1, b1, c1, c1. In the second row, second element, observe that. Third row, third element. This is the definition of determinant of the given matrix will come. So a determinant, if you find out, this value will come. Small a1 into a1 plus small b1 into b1 plus small c1 into c1. This value is equal to determinant of A. And what we said here, capital A1 is the cofactor of this element. Capital B1 is the cofactor of this element. Capital C1 is the cofactor of C1. Like this way we did know. So these values are equal to dead A. And here the suffixes are not equal now in the rest of the elements. That value goes to be 0. After simplifying in the determinants itself, after simplifying this value goes to be 0. So all the elements are goes to be 0 except the dotted lines. These values are debt A. So this will become debt A 0, 0, 0, debt A 0, 0, 0, debt A. 
from this debt a take common if you take out common debt a what will becomes 100 010 001, 001 is the i3 no this is the third order of identity matrix i3 by 3 so order of the matrix is not required here just we will write it debt a into identity matrix i why because this is the identity matrix of order 3 So that a into i that means that is a into adjoint a is equal to that a into i. From this you have to make i as a subject. So that I am taking this side. So a into adjoint a by that a is equal to i. Equation number one. Similarly, we can prove that you need to write this students. Most of the students they won't write this step. Compulsory, you need to write. Similarly, we can prove that here a into adjoint you know adjoint a into adjoint a into a is also equal to det a into i. From this also I make subject adjoint a by det a into a is equal to i. From one and two I will write it. I hope you understand, students. Till there, we'll move on to the next step. Now after completing of this step, after completing of this step. From one and two, from one and two, we conclude that a into adjoint a by that a is equal to adjoint a by that a. Into a is equal to i. From one and two, we got this result. So, what is the use of this result? I will explain in the next step. Oh, so till there two marks we got it now. For this also three marks will come. For the rest of the procedure two marks. So, by definition of inverse of a, inverse of a. By definition of inverse of a, very very important step, dear students. By definition of inverse of a, if a is non-singular, if a is non-singular, there exists a square matrix. There exists a square matrix, capital B such that. A B equal to B A equal to I. A B equal to B A equal to I. That means here B is called inverse of the matrix A. That is the meaning of the students. Here B is called inverse of A. See here A B is equal to I. So B is equal to I by A. That is equal to I into one by A is A power minus one only no. So I into A inverse is equal to A inverse. So B is called inverse of A. If we take B A is equal to I, from this also B equal to I by A, that is equal to I into A inverse, that is equal to A inverse. That means not compulsory, but you should write this one compulsory. Yes, what is? This is the rough work we can do. Just you can show that. So it represents B is inverse of A. Why I am writing this statement is observe this one. This is a into b, or this is b into a equal to i. I hope you understand here. So b is called what? A inverse only, no? So here that is a into adjoint a by det a is equal to adjoint a by det a 
into A is equal to I. Say so compare with AB is equal to BA is equal to I. Compare these two. That is the reason. So B is called inverse of A only. So that is B is equal to adjoint A by dt A. What is B here? B is called inverse of the matrix. That is A inverse is equal to adjoint A by dt A. Since B is equal to A inverse, hence prove the result to the students. I hope you understand. This concept is very important. You have to underline whenever you are writing dear students. Keep in mind. It will help you. Based on, this is the, sometimes they are asking for 4 marks and 7 marks. So keep in mind this is very important. I hope you people understand. Still any doubts are there. You can write to my comment box. I will help you. Thank you all. Signing off. Maths with Panindra.